Welcome to a journey into the heart of darkness, to a place shrouded in mystery and infamy, the infamous Alcatraz Island. In this documentary, we'll unravel the enigma of The Rock, exploring its history, the notorious inmates who once called it home, and the lasting legacy that echoes through time. The Origins of the Rock, From Fortress to Infamous Penitentiary In the annals of American history, few places evoke the intrigue and foreboding as the rocky outcrop nestled in the waters of San Francisco Bay, Alcatraz Island. The story of Alcatraz begins not as a penitentiary, but as a military bastion, standing sentinel over the tumultuous currents of the Pacific in the mid-19th century. Commissioned as part of the coastal defense strategy during the Gold Rush era, Alcatraz emerged as a formidable fortress, its imposing silhouette forewarning any potential invaders. Armed with cannons and manned by soldiers, it stood as a silent guardian, a testament to the military might and strategic foresight of the United States. The strategic importance of Alcatraz waned as the years rolled on, and by the turn of the 20th century, the fortress's cannons fell silent. Yet, this seemingly dormant rock would soon find itself thrust into a new role, one that would etch its name into the annals of criminal history. In 1934, against the backdrop of Prohibition and the Great Depression, the federal government repurposed Alcatraz as a high-security penitentiary, a response to the rising tide of organized crime and the need for a facility capable of containing the nation's most notorious criminals. The transformation from military fortress to federal penitentiary marked a shift from the echoes of coastal defense to the eerie silence of incarceration. Alcatraz, now colloquially known as The Rock, took on an identity steeped in dread and apprehension, setting the stage for a chapter in American penal history unlike any other. The transition was not merely physical, it was a symbolic metamorphosis that would redefine Alcatraz's purpose. From a bastion of national defense, it became a symbol of the nation's unwavering commitment to locking away those deemed irredeemable a place where the clash of swords had given way to the clanging of prison bars. As we delve into the depths of Alcatraz's complex history, we embark on a journey through time, unraveling the layers of its past, from military outpost to notorious prison. The formidable rock, once a guardian of the nation's shores, now stood as a foreboding monolith, casting its long shadow over the dark tales that unfolded within its walls. Life Behind the Bars, The Rigors of Alcatraz As we step beyond the formidable exterior of Alcatraz, we enter the austere realm of incarceration, a place where time seemed to move at its own measured pace, and the clang of cell doors echoed through cold, unforgiving corridors, life within the confines of the rock was defined by unyielding discipline, rigorous routines, and an overarching sense of isolation. The heart of Alcatraz's penitentiary experience lay in its stark cells. Each inmate, confined to a space barely larger than a walk-in closet, faced the solitude of long hours spent contemplating the mistakes that led them to this unforgiving place. The strict regimen imposed upon inmates left little room for deviation. Days began with the early morning clatter of cell doors opening and closed, with the ominous echo of metal bars slamming shut. Inmates moved through their daily routines with military precision, under the ever-watchful eyes of vigilant guards. The unforgiving nature of life on Alcatraz extended to the harsh punishment dealt out for any infractions. Solitary confinement, a dreaded fate, awaited those who dared defy the rigid rules of the penitentiary. The isolation of the darkened cells, devoid of human contact, served as a stern reminder of the consequences of disobedience. The isolation wasn't limited to the cells. Even during the limited recreational periods, 
inmates moved in silence. Their interactions minimized to prevent the formation of alliances or conspiracies. Alcatraz aimed not only to physically confine, but to psychologically break the spirit of those within its walls. The penitentiary's infamy extended beyond its physical constraints. The relentless routine combined with the ceaseless surveillance took a toll on the mental and emotional well-being of the incarcerated. The walls of Alcatraz, while physically unyielding, also became witnesses to the silent struggles and internal conflicts of those held captive. As we peer into the haunting corridors of Alcatraz, we glimpse not just the physical constraints, but the psychological toll it exacted on those who walked its cold, dimly lit halls. The isolation, the rigid routines, and the constant scrutiny forged an environment that, for many, bordered on the edge of human endurance. Notorious inmates and escape attempts, legends of the rock. Within the cold, imposing walls of Alcatraz, infamous names etched themselves into the annals of criminal history. The island fortress, home to the nation's most notorious inmates, would become a crucible of hardened individuals, each with a tale of crime, punishment, and, in some cases, audacious attempts at escape. Among the infamous faces that graced the cells of Alcatraz was the notorious Al Capone, whose larger-than-life persona seemed incongruent with the austere confines of the penitentiary. Yet, even the infamous Scarface found himself subject to the stringent rules of The Rock. Al Capone was not alone in his incarceration. Machine Gun Kelly, Birdman, Robert Stroud, and Creepy Carpus were among the rogue's gallery of criminals who called Alcatraz home. The island fortress became a melting pot of criminal notoriety, each inmate adding a layer to its storied history. However, it was not only the infamous residents that captured the public's imagination, but also the daring escape attempts that played out against the backdrop of the unforgiving San Francisco Bay. Alcatraz, touted as an impenetrable fortress, faced challenges that would test its reputation to the core. One escape attempt, in particular, remains etched in the collective memory. The 1962 Alcatraz escape, led by Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers, John and Clarence. The trio meticulously planned their getaway, chiseling away at the concrete walls of their cells and fashioning a makeshift raft to brave the treacherous waters. The daring escape, immortalized in books and films, injected an element of myth into Alcatraz's reputation. Despite the meticulous planning, the fate of the escapees remains unknown, shrouded in mystery and speculation. The legends of Alcatraz extend beyond the physical confines of the prison. Each inmate, whether successful in escape or forever bound to the rock, contributed to the mystique that transformed Alcatraz from a mere penitentiary to a symbol of defiance and the human spirit's unyielding quest for freedom. As we navigate the labyrinthine corridors of Alcatraz's criminal past, we confront not just the notorious inmates, but the indomitable spirit that sought to transcend the seemingly insurmountable barriers of The Rock. The Decline and Closure End of an Era The relentless tides of time eventually erode even the most imposing fortresses. As we delve into the penultimate chapter of Alcatraz's story, we witness the decline of The Rock, as a federal penitentiary and the factors that led to its eventual closure. By the early 1960s, the once feared reputation of Alcatraz faced a dual challenge, escalating maintenance costs and the changing landscape of the American penal system. The formidable fortress, designed to contain the nation's most dangerous criminals, found itself grappling with the burdens of age and financial strain. In 1963, then Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy made the fateful decision to close the doors of Alcatraz. The era of The Rock as a federal penitentiary came to an end, marking a pivotal moment in the island's history. 
the closure of Alcatraz signaled a shift in the nation's approach to incarceration. The once feared fortress, which had stood as a symbol of unyielding discipline, gave way to a new era, one that favored rehabilitation and a more humane approach to the rehabilitation of offenders. As the last echoes of footsteps faded within the cold corridors of Alcatraz, the island entered a period of transition. The cells, once occupied by infamous inmates, now stood empty, serving as silent witnesses to the passing of an era. While the closure marked the end of Alcatraz as a functioning penitentiary, it did not herald the conclusion of its story. Instead, the island embarked on a new chapter, one that would see it transform from a place of captivity to a symbol of resilience and defiance. Today, the remnants of Alcatraz stand as both a testament to its storied past and a canvas upon which visitors can paint their own interpretations. The dilapidated structures, weathered by time and salt water, serve as poignant reminders of the island's endurance. Alcatraz today, a tourist attraction and symbol of defiance. The sun sets over the glistening waters of San Francisco Bay, casting a warm glow on the weathered structures of Alcatraz, a silent witness to its transformation from a foreboding penitentiary to a beacon of history. As we explore the final chapter of Alcatraz's journey, we delve into its contemporary role as both a tourist destination and a symbol of resilience. Today, Alcatraz stands not as a fortress of captivity, but as an open book, inviting visitors from across the globe to flip through its pages. The desolate cells and crumbling cell blocks, once synonymous with incarceration, have become a canvas upon which history is painted and stories are told. The decaying prison buildings, corroded by the relentless sea breeze, serve as tangible relics of the island's tumultuous past. Yet, far from being forgotten, these remnants are embraced as integral parts of the narrative that defines Alcatraz. The haunting solitude that once defined Alcatraz has now given way to the lively footsteps of tourists, eager to unravel the mysteries within its walls. Guided tours provide a window into the daily lives of inmates, the tales of audacious escapes, and the enduring spirit that resides in every rusted cell. The once somber penitentiary yard, where inmates once moved in silence, now echoes with the laughter and chatter of tourists. The surrounding beauty of the bay, visible from the prison's high vantage points, adds a surreal layer to the island's ambiance. Alcatraz has evolved into more than a historical landmark. It has become a symbol of defiance against the confines of the past. The graffiti-covered cells and faded paint on the walls bear witness to the passage of time, each mark telling a story of resilience against the harshest of circumstances. The island's allure lies not only in its dark past but in its ability to inspire reflection. Visitors, drawn by the mystique of Alcatraz, find themselves standing on the precipice of history, contemplating the triumphs and tribulations of those who once inhabited this rugged outpost. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting long shadows across the island, one cannot help but feel a profound sense of connection with the enduring spirit of Alcatraz. The island, once synonymous with captivity, has redefined itself as a testament to the indomitable nature of the human spirit. And so, as we conclude our exploration of Alcatraz, the fortress of solitude that weathered the storms of time, we leave behind not just a chapter in history, but a living testament to the resilience that resides within us all, the legacy of the rock. As we conclude our journey through the corridors of Alcatraz, we are left with a profound understanding of its complex legacy. From its origins as a military fortress to its dark days as a federal penitentiary, and now as a historic landmark, Alcatraz has played a multifaceted role in the narrative of American history. The rock remains not only a physical presence in the San Francisco Bay, but a symbol of resilience 
defiance, and the enduring pursuit of freedom. Its story continues to captivate the imagination, reminding us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, the human spirit has the power to endure.